Hi guys, this is Farzan, welcome back to Farzalozi and I'm here with another new tutorial and in this tutorial we will learn how to blur the background in Photoshop easily and this tutorial is mainly for the beginners, I'll show you the every step. So let's get started. Okay, this is the picture I'm gonna use today. Uh, at first, we need to separate the subject and the background on a different layer right so for this just copy the layer twice by pressing command and j or ctrl and j on the windows okay let's rename this one uh, to subject that's down and this one to background okay i'm going with vz short from okay now select the subject okay now you have to select the subject and you can select uh, and you can use any selection tool like pen tool or any other selection tool but you have to select your subject perfectly so i'm gonna use the subject selection tool or object selection tool and just click on the select subject option that's the easiest way okay let's zoom in and see i think photoshop has done a uh, great job here look at this okay make sure uh, the every part is in your selection area okay for more uh, precise result go to the select and mask option and look at this i think photoshop has done a great job here just uh, paint with the refine s tool on the edges of the hair just like this I think it's done okay I want to decrease the shift is just a little and increase the feather value it's done also increase the smoothness a little bit okay now output to selection press okay okay now create a mask click on the mask and it's your subject on a different layer look at this look at this it's your subject layer okay now active the background layer and now to bring back the selection of your subject just press and hold commands or control key and click on the mask okay this is your selection right now i want to expand the selection a little bit so for this go to the select option then modify and then expand and i'm going with 25 pixel in this case maybe it will be different on your picture it depends on the resolution of your picture or dimension so click ok that's done now come back to the background layer and hide the subject layer then right click on the mouse and select your content our fill okay look at this the subject is gone okay so now press ok okay uh, now press ctrl and d to deselect okay look at this but this area is looking not right but don't worry we will apply the blur on this area so this will not be visible okay now active the subject layer and then select the background layer and convert it to a smart object it gives you more flexibility okay now go to the filter then blur gallery and select the tilt shift and now just bring it down and give your and select the area you want to blur right and now increase the blur value just like this and look at this it looks really really it looks really dramatic like okay I think this is looking right so it's very simple I want a little dramatic watery smooth blur so I am going with this now press ok now just look at this okay now active the background layer layer and look at this this was the way for and this is after it looks really really dreamy right now 
okay so this is very simple now you can double click on the blur gallery layer right here and you can adjust your blur again if you think that is too much blur you can reduce or increase the blur it is very simple so it is done the blur background is done and it's very simple okay now let's have the final look after doing some color grading okay look at this this is the before look at this this is the after it looks really dramatic and colorful hope you love this tutorial if you did hit the like button leave your comments and don't forget to subscribe <laughs>